A favorite mathematical puzzle is one that somebody gave me a few years ago. Uh, it'll take me a couple minutes to say what it is. There's a group of 50 prisoners in a prison, and uh, they are told that they're going to collectively play a mathematical game. And if they can, uh, if they manage to win the game, then they'll all be set free. Otherwise, of course, as these puzzles go, they'll all be put to death. So the game goes as follows. One at a time, they will enter a room. And in the room, there will be 50 cards face down. And on the back of the cards, on uh, the face down part, will be the numbers 1 through 50. And uh, they will be assigned, each prisoner will be assigned uh, his or her number 1 through 50 as well. Uh, let's say they enter in order. So the first prisoner comes in, and uh, he will um, be able to turn over 25 cards. And uh, if among those 25 cards he can turn over his own number, then he's won his portion of it. And he exits the room, never to be able to speak to the people behind him in line. And the cards are always turned over in exactly how they were when, you, when he started. And uh, then the next prisoner will come in and play the same game. And in order to win, all of them have to find their number by turning over the 25 cards and then turning them back before they leave. So each prisoner, as he comes in, will only see 50 cards with their faces down and will know no information about what's underneath the cards. And uh, the natural thing to think is that there's no information passed from one prisoner to the next. So how could we possibly do better than if you're only turning over 25 out of 50 cards, your chances are one half of finding your number. And if you think about one half multiplied 50 times, one over two to the 50 is a huge, uh, huge number on the denominator of that fraction. You're very, very unlikely to make it so that all 50 people have found their number. And uh, this was posed to me by a mathematician, actually, uh, who said uh, that there is a solution that gives about a 20% chance or something around this level of actually succeeding. And so I thought this puzzle was a lot of fun. It took me a long time. I did manage to solve it, but I'm not going to say what the solution is. Uh, but it was a real uh, a doozy as a logic puzzle goes. I thought it was a lot of fun, and uh, that's probably my favorite puzzle right now. <laughs>